Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram. Um, I wanted to share with you a few little things I am making for my fall journal coming up. Um, I'm getting all the little bits and pieces made for it before I put it together. And this is going to be a different um, journal. It's going to be folio style with pockets and then uh, a couple of removable journals in it or signatures in it. So I'm making a couple of things to go into it and I decided I needed to take out um, a few more of my Project Life cards that I will not be using. I mean, there's no way I'm ever going to use that. <laughs> So anyways, but I do like the other side. You could write with a white gel pen on the other side. And you know, like this one, I like this side so I can cover up this side. This one, I really love the up and down of that, but I don't, I mean, I'm not gonna use it sideways on that side. I kinda like this, especially if you put like a word label and maybe, um, a die cut of some kind, a plan or something like that on that. I like those colors for my fall journal, but I'm not going to use that. And then I love this, but wouldn't really use the stars there. And then I like this, but it's kind of kitty, and I don't really have any need for kitty stuff anymore for scrapbooks and stuff like that, but I really love the um, wood grain on the other side of that one. So I've picked those six um project life cards and those are three inches by four inches so each one of those is three inches by four inches but now you don't for this project that you're about to do with me um those of you that are wanting to do this along with me you don't have to have six pieces that are exactly the same size as you will see here so we're covering up unwanted things that we'll never use and then we're covering up white space. So I have four pieces that are cut out that have um, just white space on it. These two pieces have like a creamy color to them. On the other side, look how pretty these library cards are from Miss Betty Renfro at Betty's Custom Design on Etsy. And so I want to cover up the white space that I've used to print these out. These are on 110-pound um, cardstock. And then these are two that are kind of similar in size of her postcards from her shop. And so uh, these are, I think, Butterfly Library Cards, I think is the name of these. And these are postcards in her shop. So... I want to cover up the space on the backs of these because when you're making things for your journals, sometimes when you cut out from um, a collection of paper, uh, the back side of it is not as pretty as the front side you're wanting to use, and then you're stuck with a back side of just putting, you know, uh, some kind of coffee dyed paper or some kind of something on the back of it to use as like journaling space or whatever. I want these to be decorative on both sides. And yeah, you can still do a little bit of journaling on the front sides of them, but on the back sides, they're gonna be very decorative. So, and we're gonna mass make this. I saw something very similar to what I'm about to do on Miss um, Gail's um, Oh, how do you say her last name? It starts with an A. Ah. Anyway, <laughs> on Miss Gail's um, channel, and I will put her last name up on the screen because when I go to edit this video, I will go, you dummy lummy, you forgot her last name. Um, but I'll put it on the screen for you. Anyway, found something very similar to what I'm about to do on her channel. 
and um, she did, I think she had bought postcards at Hobby Lobby, I think, and laid them out like this in um, pairs of six like this. And then um, she collaged on them and they were gorgeous. So I thought that will be a great um, project for me for my fall journal that I'm putting together. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get them really close together and try not to have any space. And for anybody that is um, thinking, oh, her desktop looks different. I got a brand new gray with aqua teal measurement lines on it. Brand new self-healing mat, yay, for my workspace. So I have a um, link to it in the description box below. This is an 18 by 24, if anybody's interested in it. It's uh, made by Creative Grids. And that is up here, you probably can't see it. Up here, there's their logo. Now, I have got some um, printables over here. You can, and I'll also be using things from my huge scrap bowl. <laughs> Two. So it's not just going to be um, digitals, but I do have a few digitals over here um, that I will probably never use in a journal. Um, I just hadn't got to that, just fold it and then have to do something with all of that white space. So <laughs> we're going little beady right now. Okay, so here is a piece of tea dyed paper. And I am going to use, for the first piece, I'm gonna use glue stick. So maybe we won't get too much going through on the other side. So glue stick on my very first piece. And to connect them all together, we'll cut them out later, but to connect them all together, I'm just gonna put that one piece over all and see then, well, pretty much. <laughs> Once you get the glue on that side there, Laner. Then you've got cards, a big stack of six cards that kind of move together for you. Look at there, I'm proving myself wrong the entire time I talk. Stop talking, Melina, and get it fixed before you tell them, oh, look, this is what it does. And then it doesn't. Okay, get some here. And what I like about this little collage project, there we go. Now we get it. They're all moving together. That's what I like. Um, what I like about this little collage project is there is no collage page needed, so you don't have to get all of that icky everywhere. And I am not going to be distress inking every little bitty tiny piece like I do my master boards either for this. We're going to, once we get all of this put on the back, then we're going to cut these pieces back down to their original sizes, each individual original size. And then we will distress ink them then. All right, now let's see which ones don't move. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I got, oh, listen to that. <laughs> I've got all of them moving together now. That's all adhered together. Good, good, good. And you could also do one piece here and one piece here, and then that would adhere them all together also. Um, then let's get... Since it's going to be an autumn fall project, I'm going to put a piece on the edge here of this little polka dot mustardy looking paper that is so cute. Just tear some and maybe. Do it here. Yep, and then I can 
cover up around that. So we can start using some liquid glue now. I have recently put a stainless steel pen in my little knitting cap that goes on my sugar bell bottle. And for the last three times that I have made a video with that stainless steel pen in it, I have scared myself <laughs> pulling that out and thinking, there's something in my glue. Of course there is. There's a stainless steel, need stainless steel needle that you put there, you goofy. So that was the reason for the shock and awe that you just, <laughs> that you just witnessed. Ain't that crazy? <sighs> I roll my eyes at myself quite a bit. All right, and then I'm gonna get a wipey. I have sensitive skin pampers. Whoops, hit the camera. Pampers wipies up on my shelf above my head. And I've been using that quite a bit instead of my dirty red rag. Some of y'all are saying hallelujah to that. Get rid of that silly red nasty rag that you use. But that nasty rag does have that mesh stuff on the back of it and it helps um, when I am trying to get something really hard and yicky off of something. So you're just gonna get scraps of paper and you're going to go around and cover up all of this space on the back that you don't care for. And I have, look at those little strips of goodness I've got left over from another project. And I'm thinking I will add that across there and I will use that on something too. And just go ahead and do that all the way across. I love to collage. Some people don't like to collage just because it covers up stuff. But I mean, if I'm using scraps anyways, oop, I'm gonna go up so I'm covering up that white space that's right there. If I'm using scraps anyways, it doesn't matter to me if I cover up a little bit of something, you know? I mean, I would otherwise not use it at all. So I would rather cover it up. Okay, so I think I will put that there and it won't make it too uniform. I'll go all the way to the edge with it. It won't make it too uniform because when I go to um, cut them back down to their six pieces, then it won't be, you know, all straight, just a straight line uniform all the way across because we're not leaving it in this big state. We will be cutting it all back apart. So that little piece there, get off my excess so it don't get on my pretty new mat. And then this piece of, that's cardstock, this is paper. Now I did have that little piece is a little bit thicker than paper, but not too bad. So I'm wanting to try to just keep to, um, paper on this, I'm going to tear all of this white space off and I need my, there it is, my tear ruler to do that instead of going around with just my hand, don't I? Okay, get that off and that white space off there. This is a piece of the Ledger and Lace kit that, oh, it's a little thicker than what I was anticipating, huh? That um, Miss Betty Renfro has in her shop. There we go. And I made 
a ring bound journal with it and I thought it turned out beautifully and sold that in the shop in no time flat. It went very quickly. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate that you like what I make. It's starting to move on me. There we go. All right, now that I got it all torn around the edges and the white space off of that, now I can tear it for my project. Oh, I like that. Let's come down some. Let's trim all that off. Oh, and then we can cover up something else right there. That works. And you can do as big of a piece as you want or as small of a, as a piece of uh, scrap as you want for your collaging. There is no rules. You do it how you would like to do it. Let's see, wipey the excess off and then pull it up every once in a while just to make sure that you're not gluing yourself down to your mat. And then I think I will go ahead and use this piece over here. And remember, when you cut it all back down, you'll be able to ink your edges then. All right, I'm gonna come all the way over here to make sure and cover up the edge that I've got going on right there. And let's see, maybe some book page. Oh yes, gotta have book page, don't we? All right, I'm thinking maybe that one right there, yep, like that. Let's make sure we don't have any ugliness on there before we put it on there. I don't like ugly words, so <laughs> I don't say them. So I don't want to use them in my things either, my projects. Uh, let's see, da, 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 da. making sure there's no, okay, nothing on there. So let's get that put down over here and all the way out because this card is a little bit wider than this one. So just make sure to put it all the way out and then wipe off your excess like that. Okay, good. And then when we cut them apart, any uh, little cracks and crevices, you know, that we're getting in between the cards, we'll cut it off. So, won't have to worry about that, will we? All right, so let's get some scrap from my big bowl here. All right, I've got that, but that's plain, and that's what we're covering up, it's plain. So let's not get any plain scraps. I like that, let's use that. That's paper paper and not cardstock. And then I think I got some more of that somewhere. That's pretty plain, but we could use that little coffee stain right there, couldn't we? Look at that little ticket, we can use that. And let's see if we got any more paper paper back here. I have people ask about my papers that I get out of my scrap pile, where they come from. Oh. <laughs> some of them have been in my scrap pile for so long, I have no clue. So, you just have to guess at that, I guess. <laughs> All right, I got some more of that little um, printed bag there. And then, Let's look, a couple of more digs down in here to see if we've got any more paper paper and not card stock. That's not, 
that's not, that's all big cardstock. And I just threw some stuff out of it when I flicked it. There we go. That to the collage too, that's cute. And got another little cut apart for the, oh yeah, look at that one. That's pretty, I like that. So we can add that to the back side of one of the cards too in a minute if we want to. All right, so that pretty much takes care of all of my paper paper. Really didn't find any more fall looking. So, okay, let's use a piece of this. And I'm just gonna cut this and then we'll cut around, tear around the edges and get rid of that white border there. Oh, I like that. Okay, I might use that on this side since I need a bigger piece. Oh yeah, that looks good, don't it? And then most all of that will be on that one card there. And then we'll just have a few little letters and stuff on those. So I'll go ahead and glue that one down. And the mass making part, y'all see that, right? Because we're working six cards at the same time six pieces at the same time so you're getting it all done in one whack with six cards and then you get to cut them apart and you have six different pieces to use in your journals oh i like that let's trim that down and get us a couple of strips of this going on here. There's where I could have used my tear tool again, huh? Oh well, we got it done. All right, that come out of my scrap bowl and it's hard stock, so a little too thick. Okay, I like that. Let's kind of hang it off the edge there to make sure to cover up all of that. And then we don't cover up all of this because I like that. And then a thicker strip maybe on this side. Mm -hmm. Pretty. I'm a little stuck, so let's pull that up. P -p -p pull that up. There we go. And maybe that big piece of polka dot would put right there we could put one of those little cards so yeah one of our bigger pieces that that's all that's going to be on the back of the card we could use some little die cuts on that would be neat give it a little bit more personality okay and if you've got a um little flimsy um non-stick mat you could do that and use that underneath this so you don't have glue going everywhere on your nice new mat melina <laughs> oh man all right across there i'm really liking this i'm liking not having to distressing or not having to you don't have to do anything you do whatever you want to but i like not um, distressing, distress inking every little piece of everything. Oh, we really like that. Okay, let's get that torn and then this little sliver of white there on the edge of that. It's got one on that side too, so let's tear that off. I think this come off of one of the my porch prints. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it did. Let's put that at the top of this one. We almost got them covered up. Here, hang that off the edge. So you got it all covered, and then come. I think I'll come in with some more book page 
at the top here. And see, it doesn't matter if you use um, book page elsewhere because you've got book page that'll be on these two cards. And then if you put a piece here, then you'll have just a tiny piece more on that. But then you've got book page on these other. Ooh, I like the wording better. It fills up better on that side. So let's make sure. But not no. Da, 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 da. Okay, making sure. No, no wordy dirds. No wordy dirds. Of course, even if there was one, I'm not that vanilla. Even if there was one, I could cover it up with a die cut or something. So we're good, even if it was a little one somewhere. All right, and then I want to use this. Let's tear it and then tear it in the middle and we can use it on both sets here. Okay, and I could do that right there and that would cover up the rest of that. I love it. Let's get it put down. And collaging for me is just a kind of therapeutic thing. Because <laughs> y'all know I love to make something out of nothing. And so doing collage, you've got this big blank space <laughs> on the back here. And then you're covering it up with a bunch of what most people would call junk and making something out of it. So let's see, where do we want to put this? I think maybe we could get most everything covered up up here. With that, we sure can. Then I'll just need to put a little strip of something there because I got that one a little tall on top, didn't I? Um... Let's do this little bit of book page that's got some, barely got some writing on it at the top here. And um, anybody wondering, I've got barely arts glue in my sugar bell bottle there. Oh yeah, and that gives us a nice little page number. I like that. And we're trying to keep the Barely Arts in stock in the shop, but it is hard right now. There are um, glue companies that can't get their glue bottles that they put their glue in. Uh, we've got one glue company that their um, filler machine, the machine that fills up all of their bottles, broke down on them. So the, <laughs> the glue companies, the glue manufacturers are having a rough time right now trying to get um, all of this, you know, employees to stay and machines to stay up. And then whoever they order their glue bottles from is not working at full capacity right now. So it's just a bunch of craziness going on. That does not say an ugly word, does it? Oh, okay. <laughs> I just saw B-I-T. <laughs> oh, anyway, I checked it. It don't. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead with my sticky scissors and trim that little bit off right there. And was hoping to avoid that, but of course everything um, falls glue side down. Right, right, all right, and then let's see here. I really like that, so I don't know that I'm going to cover all of that up. I want to cover that white space right there up, but I don't know that I'll cover all of that up. I'm going to use this to cover up a bigger space here, so I'll come over about yay and trim that and then oh yeah let's go ahead and cover all of that up and do it like 
this, tear that, and I'll just cover this spot and then we can cut off what hangs over the edge and make sure we cover up all of the card. There we go. Let's get this excess off here. There we go. And it will try to buckle up on you, but um, once you put it uh, in a thick book or something, you'll be all right. Just let it set and get the glue all dry and it'll be fine. All right, let's come down. Try not to cover up too much of that. It's just so pretty. And I got some sticking going on, so let's wipe that off. Oh, those are so pretty. Mm, Miss Betty, you do a good job. And sometimes I'll be calling her Sister Betty. <laughs> She's um, my unlogical sister, you know. All right, some more tea dyed paper, and I think I will put this that's got the little red splotch on it. I think I'll put that here. Let's trim that off just a little bit. I don't want to cover up all of my... Oh yeah, I like that. I don't want to cover up all of my book page writing right there. And go all the way to the top. There. <laughs> and pat, pat, pat. Um, let's do this little coffee stain here. And can add that there. This is cute with the little print ads. I love that. Let's do a nice torn piece. Maybe right there. Now, if you wanted to use collage podge, you could definitely use collage podge doing this, but I just decided to do it a little bit easier and less messy and we don't have to wait so long for it to dry. You have to wait a long time to get collage polish to dry. So those videos take me a good long while. I'm thinking I like that just to cover up some of that doop, 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 doop there. Yep, I know I've already got paper there. And this will be an extra layer. Augustinelli. <laughs> Squirrel. I think that's how you say Miss Gill's last name. Augustinelli. Augustinelli. Anyways, I'm probably wrong. I will have put it <laughs> up there for y'all to see. <laughs> oh, babe. All of a sudden, it came to me. Or I thought it did anyway. I'm just going to go ahead and cover up most of this. Here, if I do that right there, that will cover up enough of that. Because I do like those little flowers. It was just a little much on both sides. If I were using that in my journal. So, if I do that there. And then I'll just have the two little pieces of it peeking out there. Making sure I'm in frame for y'all to see. Okay. Now, I just need to cover up the bottom here. I'll do one little strip of something there for that. And then I got quite a bit to still cover up on this side. Let's get... Now, this is some from Nancy's Fancies, and she has printed on both sides. I love that. Now, the purple, of course, is not going to be going with my... Um, 
fall theme and the little beautiful hummingbirds, but I'm just going to trim those out and I will use those later. I like the music paper though, so let's use that. Uh, just make sure to save my little beautiful hummingbirds and flowers. I think this is her pansies um, kit. All right, and then we're gonna do a strip of this on the bottom here. And let's cut it this way. If you don't like white core showing, do it this way and you don't get that. Do it away from you or toward you if you don't mind white core and I don't. All right, look at that. That's gonna cover that very well. So let's go ahead and get that glued down there. All right, am I covering, totally covering up my coffee? Almost, so let's dip this down a little bit because I like that coffee stain there. And see if, oh yeah, that works. And I just got some glue to clean off. There we go. Got a little bitty spot right there that I need to cover up. And I will do that in a minute. Let's do some of this over here. Oh, we can get quite a bit covered up. We'll do that. So let's trim that off. Yep. And then we'll just have a little dunk dunk right there. Okay. So let's go like so, and then like so, and just kind of piece and piece and piece until you're satisfied with how it looks. I really did <laughs> too big of a piece, didn't I? Okay, that works. Okay. Cover that, and then I might turn it over and put the little pieces, because that's a little bit lighter than this side. Put the little pieces down to cover up the little spots here and there. Maybe this here. Okay. I'm good with this one, and then you can decorate ever how you want to on this other side or you can leave that as your front and this is your back to journal on however you would want to do it we're just covering up the back sides that we're not too fond of that's too plain so we will cut these apart in just a minute let's let that glue dry a little bit more and finish up this one this is not too thick of cardstock, so let's add a piece of that somewhere. Maybe there, yep. There we go. Cover that up and still have our book page number there. And let's see here. Do this strip maybe there and get all of that covered. And a little piece of, let's see, let's do this little ticket here. And we can add that down here. So you don't have to tear your collaged pieces. You can cut them out. You can use little thin die cuts too that maybe you just put on regular paper. You could do that too. Just cover the whole thing with one pattern paper of some kind and then just cover with lots of die cuts. That would work. All right, yep, let's add that little ticket. 
and then here a little piece of book page for this bottom piece here and this script writing that's on the bottom of this piece I like that that could go in this little corner here or yep there and then have some little strip of something to cover that up tea dyed paper or tea stained paper whatever you would like to call it and that works well there cover up some of this so it's not so uniform oh let's take that little piece off because i want those numbers to show bring it down some we can cut off the excess later a little piece to break up all of that yellow and brown right there on there and then let's get this one little corner and that little piece right there covered up let's do a little piece of this for there what else here oh we got this to use that works that little piece of printed bag kind of breaks up all of that taupe looking color there and then book page to finish it off I believe so let's trim that like that make sure of no wordy dirts and we're good There we go. And add that to the edge there. And I believe that takes care of all of the backing. It sure does. All right, so I'm gonna clear this stuff, stuff, this stuff off. Put it back in my little scrap bowl. Put that off to the side there let it be drying this one i think has dried enough that we can cut it apart at least so i'm just going to go along the edge first and get off my excess and if they're not exactly lined up then you can go in and out in and out to get right up against the edge and that's still a little wet that's why it's giving me some resistance there all right so let's flip them over oh i like how that one looks that's got nice layers to it okay there's one our one with our little clock on it and then see then the um mustardy polka dot got broken up really well oh i like those Okay, and then the back side of that one and the back side of this one. Let's get our walnut stain ink. And ink our edges to give that finished look to them. And I like that. And then you can dirty up any white spaces that you see on the edges of the paper. And that takes care of that. I love those. Yeah, I'm thinking I might use that as the <laughs> front and then put little die cuts on the backs of them to kind of break up the modernish look. I like that. I like these numbers too for that one that's got the numbers on the other side of it. Like that. 
that's a little much. Let's put it on this one. Just use glue stick. And put that there. And then distress ink on this side also. Oh yeah, I like that. It's like um, modern ledger paper kind of, but then when you do your distress inking around the edges, it gives that vintage vibe. I like that. And then you got a little bit of blue going on on the back that matches that front. I'll turn it over there so y'all can see that part. But let's go ahead and distress ink all of these with our walnut stain. Okay, so here are these all inked around the edges. Look how perfectly grungy they are. I love it. <laughs> I love that. Um, and then on the back side, so we've got the wood grain on that one. We've got that one that we added the uh, die cut to. We've got that little journaling space. We've got that. The numbers on the back of that one. And then that. So I'm not um, wanting to cover this up. Now, you could, of course, cover up both sides of these, doing them in a six panel um, type master board uh, layout if you wanted to. I'm done with that one. And I'm not going to cover up that one. I can do, well, I can do, I can do, let me find it. Here we go. One of my little leaves that we made in the last video could do a little leaf on there or something let's get a little tiny one to go along with it oh yeah that works pretty i like that and then maybe do an acorn on one. I like that. I still don't think I'm going to cover up those numbers unless I put my little sweater weather leaf on it. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> and then this one, look at that. How pretty. Yep. So let's put those leaves on there. And if you did not see where I made these um, die cut leaves, you can go back and watch that. It is the video right before this one in my video lineup. Okay, and all of those leaves are ready to use. I went ahead and inked every one of them. So they are ready, ready. There's that, and then do this little acorn here. That's just cute. Right there. Little subtle decoration. And you could even put like a little word label across there. And then this one is just the colors in it go perfectly with this stripity Project Life card we started out with. I love that. That one's very pretty. You could just do a little bit of journaling right through here in the lighter areas of the stripity stripe. Okay. And then... We're going to cut apart that other one, too. I'm just giving it some time to dry. I really like that one. Let's dirty the edges up just a little bit more to get rid of some of that white. It's dirty, dirty, dirty. Yep. That's better. For me, anyways, because I'm, I'm totally grungy when it comes to stuff like this. You can 
leave as much white as you would like. I like that, like that. I like that, like that. All right, and then this one, do that little leaf there. And then I could use a white gel pen for journaling on the back of this one. And this tiny little bitty leaf added. Okay, so there are those six done. The collaging on the backs takes the longest, guys. That's the longest part of the whole thing. Let's try to find a little word or something for the back of that one. Because I think I went a little overboard with my dirty in on that one. It's the um, walnut stain, so that one was a little much, Melina, a little much. Okay, let's ink a little bit on this one. And I'm thinking right across the top there. And then that'll break that up some. Yeah, that works. It's not my favorite of the cards that I've made today, but it will. Put that one right there. Yep, that breaks that one up enough that I'm happy with it. Okay, so that's those four. So that's our sides we liked but wanted to alter just a little bit. And then here are the backs. And I think the backs will probably be my fronts <laughs> in my journal. They're just so pretty. I like that. So that is those six. Now let's get this other one cut up and see what it looks like after you've got all the cutting done. We'll just have to distress ink the edges and these should be ready to go because they got, they'll have pretty fronts. They already had pretty fronts with these little postcards. They'll have pretty fronts and pretty collaged backs. And since they're a little bit different sizes, I just have to do some fancy cutting along the edges. Just a little bit. And then we'll go back and clean it up on the edges too, once we get all six of them cut apart. Now, of course, I'm using my sticky scissors. I definitely recommend putting a pair of scissors aside that are designated for cutting out things that are gluey, sticky, messy. You will love me for that, I'm just saying. That way you don't ruin your nice Tim Holtz scissors or your fabric scissors or something like that. Okay, so there's that one pretty clean. And let's edge this one just a little bit here. Whoop, cut right into it, Melina. There you go, that's smart. Okay, and then trim this off. Okay, so there are what we started with, our autumn postcards, okay? And then we flip them over and reveal what happened with our collaging. Now that one has plenty of room for journaling on the back, or you could flip it around ever how you would like. Ooh, look at that one. That one's got a lot of grunge going on with it, don't it? Okay, and on these, now I'm gonna leave them. I almost thought, hmm, let's 
round the corners, but these are library cards and postcards, so you don't see rounded corners on them much. So let's just leave them as is. I'm going to ink all the edges and then I'll come back and show you what they all look like with their edges inked. And then I'll give you some still shots at the end too. All right, so there's the fronts of ours, all um, distressed inked. And then the backs, and I dirtied up a little bit on those two. I might do a little bit more on that one. Okay. And like I said, lots of room for journaling on that one, or if you want to add a little die cut on there like that, add it to the edge and you can still do quite a bit of journaling. But I really love how these look, so I'm just gonna add this one leaf onto this one since it's the plainest of the six that one looks like it's got a little seahorse head don't it i might <laughs> i might have to cover a little bit of that up because it does look like a little seahorse head right there um anyway these are our mass made library cards postcards and journaling cards and we got 12 of them done in this video. I think that's pretty good, guys. Don't y'all? I think it is very good. And I have plenty of cards for my fall journal now. And I'll be adding a little bit more, uh, maybe some leaves, maybe some little word labels. And these will be good to go for my fall journal. I am in the midst of making. And that video is coming up very soon. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all have a blessed day. Y'all take care. You are my people and I love you. And I thank you for your support. Have a great day. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. God bless. Bye y'all.